Hi guys, so you find me outside these magnificent doors which belong to Bath Abbey. That obviously indicates that I must be doing the Cotswolds Way, 102 miles. I'm hoping to do this over the next five days or so and um, yes, obviously throwing in a few nights of wild camping. So as we go through Bath I'll pick up a few more shots but obviously the main purpose is to concentrate on the countryside. So, less talking, let's get walking. So this is the official start. For me, the acorn is upside down because I'm actually going south to north, whereas most people or most guidebooks actually travel north to south. My first Cotswold Way sign and it's a bus stop as well. However, I am committed to walking. And this is the first part where I think we're starting to get out of Bath itself, which is good news for me because I hate the navigation through the city. And in fact, I wish there was more Cotswold signs as you go through the city part. Anyhow, we're going to descend down this track now. and a working clock that tells me I must be on my way. So just off the path here, there's like a side path that just extends to that trick point there. So we're at a place called Prospect Style, 230 metres high, and we've got quite a panorama. Mendip Hills are over there. Apparently Bristol's in the far distance. What we're looking at here is a ditch from the Iron Age for Little Down Hill Fort. And as far as the Cotswolds Way is concerned, this is the most westerly point. Well, this is certainly not in my guidebook. Ooh. 
Not sure I'd like to discover these at night time. So this area is known as Battlefields and as it says there this was the Battle of Lansdowne in 1643 So this is great, if you follow these signs about the Battle of Lansdowne then I think under normal situation you come across these description boards which are very informative too much information for us to cover now So this is the earliest surviving war memorial and was built in 1720 We'll just get a bit closer to get more detail for you so this is in memory of Sir Beville Granville who actually died as a Royalist commander in the Battle of Lansdowne in July 1643 and was built by Lord Lansdowne, his grandson Got your bear canister. So I'm going on like that seed. Brilliant. That might give you a perspective of where we are. I'm hoping that doesn't apply to us. Not sure that's used very often now. And then we have the hidden post box in Cold Ashton. And interestingly, this one has actually got GR on it. So the village that we've just been through is called Cold Ashton. That means we've done about 10 miles and it's probably about half past two now. I need to get another 10 under my belt. So apparently that group of houses over there is called Pennsylvania.
So this is dry and wood message box. Unfortunately, I haven't got a pen with me to hand. Yes, yeah, so there's a Tupperware box and a notebook to put your messages in. Good afternoon, young sir. Good afternoon. <laughs> Perfect. So I can recommend a good pint in there and a grab of food that we did. That's quite impressive. A ditch and a rampart to ascend if we're going to attack the hill fort. <laughs> 